The five schools are the Mpukano Primary School as well as Namiyundu, Ikab, Muzi and Nakutwe Combined Schools. Zambezi Acting Education Director Robert Mabuku explains that although the schools did not yet open for the second term, about 155 grade 9 and 10 learners were relocated to other schools in the area. At Muzi Combined School, the grade 9 and 10 learners were relocated to Lusese before the end of the last trimester, while the grade 9 and 10 learners from Nakutwe Combined School were relocated to Dr. Sam Nuyoma Combined School at Kabe. Grade 9 and 10 learners from ICAP Combined School were relocated to Izimwe Primary School. About 2,531 learners from grade 0 to 8 are still not at school. Therefore, we as a regional office decided to put in place some measures in order to compensate for that loss of teaching and learning time. And that means um, once the schools uh, can resume, we urge them to put in place a timetable for teaching sometimes in the afternoons as well as during the weekends. But more importantly, we want to see these schools uh, forfeit the August holidays. The Zambezi Acting Education Director explains that although 13 other schools in the flood-prone areas reopened, teachers and learners are finding it hard as they are surrounded by flood waters. These schools, they are surrounded by water. There is enough dry ground on the, on the school so they con can continue with their lessons. However, they need support. They need support in form of mosquito nets, insect repellents, uh, water purification tablets, and in some cases, the learners need tents in order for them to camp at the school so that uh, they can uh, avoid uh, traveling through the water uh, up and down from the villages and uh, to the schools and back. Affected residents are also in need of mosquito nets, insect repellent, water purification tablets and other humanitarian assistance such as ablution facilities.